All right, so I'm here with Paul. Paul, what are you here for today? Uh, I'm here today, uh, first of all, for my daughter, Taylor Swift. Oh, that's a nice one. I mean, I know that's that's something everyone's going for. They've got 75,000 of those just for the U.S., and I think 150,000 for the world. Like, that's crazy. Record Store Day is supposed to be about limited, rare releases, and this suddenly is not. But that's cool that you're here for her. And I'm here for myself, for right? Brian Eno, okay. and Wilco. Nice. All right. Um, and uh, th those they've got those for you? Because you, you know, I know Ted comes out. He likes to go through. Keeping my fingers crossed. Keeping them crossed. All right. All right. Well, good luck with that. Hope you have a good time today. Thanks. All right. All right. So I'm here with a couple guys that have went to the first record story. And I know you were at JNR Records. I was at that one. Um, the first one didn't have a lot at it, right? I mean, it was pretty small. There was only a few people at them. Kind of no big deal. But we were all talking about what happened at the second one, which, like, we experienced at JNR, was a madhouse. Right? We experienced the same thing. It was fun. Right? People you know. were just grabbing product records just for the sake of grabbing it. And right. care what it was. It was they just wanting to get their hands on it. They thought something. record store day, that everything is limited. Just right. grab whatever you can grab. Even if it was supposed to be one per customer, people were just picking up a whole stack because right. they were going to try to flip it. That's right. And they and then, they weren't getting away with it, but it was happening. It cost them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, somebody tried to take it out. We talked to the Oh, really? Well, New York City, right? So. <laughs> and we went out of screen, you know, so they could get off my wallet or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, it was just, it was chaos. Right. And the following year is when places started doing like this, where it's like, now you come in, you, you know, they hand you the stuff. It was behind a counter kind of a thing. Well, it's and one, one, one or two people in the store at a time. You get a few minutes to shop. And right, then right. Let more well, I think the, the first exactly. one, nobody, nobody knew what to do. Nobody, that, right. No one knew what to expect. All the record stores figured, you, let's just get it out as regular product. I was right. going to shop like regular shop. They thought people just show up over a period of time, and it was like, no, this is an event. And today, that's what you guys are seeing out here. Yeah. All right, hey, Anthony, so what time did you get here this morning? After 7. After 7. Ran a little late. Yeah. 7.20-ish. Well, All right, and you open at 9. Open at 9. You stoked for this? I am stoked. A lot of cool titles. Huge line, biggest line. I know, had, right? Is cool, man. All the way down the sidewalk, wraps around out back. Yeah. That's very cool. I'm super stoked for this. We're about ready to kick this off in about five minutes or so. Oh, yeah. All right, stick around, guys. All right. Are you looking at anything else? All right. Slow going here. Hold on. You're welcome. Nice bass. Yeah, right. Are you good? All right. Taking anything else out? All right, Mike. That's <laughs> This is only my add-on. Uh, oh, that's I nice. I think I got 20 <laughs> items <laughs> up front. <laughs> Bye-bye, Taylor. No for that shit. Thank you. 
daughter kitty record. No Dio's? No, no Dio, no death. They'll be available next week. All right, so I'm with Roy. He's got quite a stack here. What you got there? This is the Mike D. Yep. All right. Some black keys. Oh, nice, nice. What else we got there? Dirty projectors with the order. Okay. Oh, I like that one there. The Cure. The Cure show. Cool picture disc. Oh, you got the Macho Man. Nice. <laughs> right? <laughs> you have to get that. The Dawn American Life. Cool. Or nice. scratch pen. Okay. The Dusky Martin and Wood. Oh, I'm a fan of them too. Yeah. Where did you find that? Is that, is that the only one there? The orb? <laughs> the orb? You like what you're seeing here too? Yeah. <laughs> it was. I don't know if it's the only one. It was. Um, Pigeon playing ping pong. Oh, oh, playing ping pong. Oh, is that the name of the band? Grateful Dead Boston. Oh, very good. All right, man. We'll enjoy. <laughs> Do we have the Wilco Yankee Hotel Foxtrot box set? We don't have any other ones lying around? No, that's the last Wilco box. Yeah. This completes the. Uh, oh, here. All right, so I'm back from Record Store Day. Wow, was that amazing. I mean, the line, as you could see, was out the door, around the building, to the back. I mean, hundreds of people kept coming through the door for a solid two hours, which really nice for the store, but it was just cool to see so many different people out, uh, you know, for Record Store Day. We had all different walks of life of people. I think a lot of this had to do with the, the Taylor Swift album that came out, where she released 75,000 copies in the U.S., I think 115,000 worldwide. And so you had a lot of younger girls that were there, big Taylor Swift fans. I think they call them Swifties, right? Moms, dads coming to get it, stuff like that. And Sound Exchange sold out of all of their copies of that stuff, but they sold out of a lot of other stuff. And, you know, yeah, I feel bad for the people that didn't get it and so forth. But what's cool is just the size of this and the community and the people that are coming out and sharing in this. And I love that about Record Store Day. And of course, I can't go to one of these things without getting my own loot, so I thought uh, run through my loot that I got from Record Store Day, and of course you guys can leave in the comments all the cool stuff that you got. But I got a bunch of cool stuff here, both records and CDs. You guys know I like uh, both of them. And so um, I chose to pick up the CD version of the Pearl Jam album giveaway, which uh, I know I keep saying this, but if you haven't seen this video, then you might not know. Australian live album. And it, this was recorded live during the Yield album and tour, but over there in Australia, it's called Give Way. So that's why they named it that. And I just, I don't know, I like those little, little tie-ins and things. So there you go, excited for that. And that was a big seller too, especially the vinyl version. Ringo Starr, Stop and Smell the Roses, uh, back in print on CD. It's a replica vinyl version on CD. They were also selling this as a uh, vinyl, and I know some people were picking that up. I happen to be a big Ringo Starr fan. In fact, he's my favorite of the Beatles. I just sort of like his quirky uh, attitude and the way he sings and whatnot. This next one was a cool one. Not a lot of these exist. In fact, I think there were like only 200 of these released on CD. Eric Carr, Rockology. Now, I've got the original CD of this, but they did this with new art to make it look like one of the Kiss solo albums. And since he actually wore the makeup and everything within the band, I thought it was so cool that they did this. And there's five bonus tracks added onto this. So even if you had the original Rockology CD that was put out, they've added some cool stuff on here. Uh, demos, alternate versions, an acapella, and a couple unreleased 
track. So there's that. And then I did get some vinyl. This one was, uh, you know, one that I was very excited about, at least. Ted Nugent, The Vault, Volume 1. Uh, as you can see from the album cover that's here, it's demos and outtakes and stuff, alternate versions of songs from Free For All. So 1977 stuff, the entire album done in alternate takes and so forth. And what's cool is it kicks off with Free For All, of course. This is a guide vocal version, and it ends with a live version recorded in 1977. So very cool. Apparently, they found hundreds of tapes in one of his studios and went through the whole process of baking them and doing what they had to do and everything. But since this says volume one, I'm really hoping we're gonna get more. And they even say in the write-up and stuff on the back of this, hundreds of tapes were found that have all kinds of uh, unreleased material and stuff like that. So hopefully we're gonna see more, maybe even a CD box set for a CD fanatics. Ramones, Pleasant Dreams, the New York City mixes. So an alternate edition of the album, uh, very cool New York City mixes, a uh, rough and almost ready Ramones as they describe, unreleased works in progress from the Ramones' sixth album with alternative album art. So, you know, works in progress, I'm a little worried about what that quality is gonna sound like, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, and the last thing I got was actually an impulse buy. I was uh, just starting with those, and as I'm walking out, I saw this and I decided I had to pick it up. Rich Kids, so featuring Glenn Matlock of the Sex Pistols, 1977, uh, I think, a 45th anniversary album, 78, actually. Um, let's see, Rusty Egan, Glenn Matlock, Midge Erd, and Steve New, and I know I always pronounce Midge Er wrong, but um, produced by Mick Ronson, so I thought that was very cool. There you go. So I just was like, it's out of print, it's, I couldn't find it on CD or anything, so I thought, you know what? I want to check this out. So I was kind of excited about this. So this is the one out of all the things that was added in. So three vinyl records for myself and three CDs. And I think I did pretty good. I saw so many people there getting stacks of stuff and people from all over, uh, family from Ohio came out, which was really cool. Um, but Record Store is just a great thing, brings everyone together, all different walks of life, and I love it. So hopefully you enjoyed this experience video of uh, going to Record Store Day. Certainly, as I said, leave your comments, let me know your thoughts, let me know what you picked up, if there was anything of interest for you out there. Take care, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.